Closer to home, Faith Time, our weekly conversation on matters of faith. We're in the final days of the Christian season of Lent, and key to that season is the story of Jesus being tempted by the devil in the desert. We face temptation every day. Christopher L. Williams, senior pastor of Yorktown Missionary Baptist Church, joins us to talk about it. First, how do you define temptation? The strong desire to do something that is wrong, but inside you really want to do it knowing that it's wrong. So how did Jesus face temptation? Jesus, uh, it's amazing to me how Jesus faced temptation. Uh, when he was taken to the mountain and, and carried up and shown all this stuff and offered all these things, but he faced it head on. He didn't waver one way or the other. Uh, he simply held firm to his conviction, to his faith, to his trust in God. And, and against everything Satan thought at him, he just held fast to his uh, trust in God. How do we recognize temptation when we face it? Oh, well, it, it's, it's not so easy all the time, but you always know there's an inner voice that always tell you when you're messing up, when you're doing something wrong. That inner voice always come out and say, hey, Chris, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go that way. I'd go right. I wouldn't go left. Uh, you, you have a second sense, a second thought about what you're doing. And, and you ask yourself, the easiest thing to do is to ask yourself, what would Jesus do at this time? What would Jesus say at this uh, incident? So that, to me, that's the way I, I recognize it. What are some ways that we tend to rationalize temptation? Uh, we, we say things like, I can do it and nobody else will know. It won't hurt nobody. It's not going to hurt anyone. It's not going to hurt me. It's not going to bother anybody. But the, the, the sad thing is God already knows. He knows our thoughts, our heart. He knows what we're going to do. And then we have this big thing that, well, God will forgive me if I do it. No, look, what we have to do is not try to get into a sinful way. That's why, that way we'll stay out of temptation. Now, meteorologist Colleen Peterson 